problem that I often encounter with my clients is that they really expect because they're such great catches, it's all going to work out. Well, I'm, I'm a great catch. So I don't have to do anything differently. Well, if you haven't, you know, if you haven't had a relationship for seven years and you'd like a relationship, again, there's nothing wrong with being single. I, I, I was single forever. I don't judge anybody who's single and says, I want to be single. But if you're looking for a relationship and you think love will find you because you're a great catch, it is the equivalent of the person who is, you know, uh, formerly a vice president of some company, sitting at home watching Oprah, wondering why he doesn't have another job. Right? Love doesn't find you because you're great. You actually have to pursue it. And the problem is when you're really, really great, nobody's good enough for you. That's the other really tricky part when it comes to dating. Nobody's good enough. And I really want you guys to get present to how few people are good enough to date you. I want you to consider, has anybody ever dated online? Or is it just me? I did this for like a thousand years. Right. The back of the room has never done anything. It's amazing. <laughs> so the back of the room is like the 40-year-old virgins. They're, 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 they're the first time they've ever thought about dating here. All right, I'll be in front of them. So, so if you were to go on to a, a match.com and scroll through a list of 100 people, let's figure out what percentage of people are dateable. Okay? And we can figure out who's dateable based on, 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 on their uh, criteria, the things that they need to have going for them. Right? So what are some important things that people need to have going for him? Well, um, if, it's, if it's a guy, he's, uh, you, you, you ready? Job. He's got to have a job? I don't think, I don't think uh, Victoria, that it's simply about having a job. No, I think it depends. Sometimes they've got like, great degrees, but they're still in a poor position. Mm -hmm. And so we don't want poor guys. Intelligence. Okay, intelligence. No, no poor stupid people? No? They're not at the top of the dating pole, totem pole? Go to poorstupidpeople.com. Why is nobody signed up here? That's weird. If you were to go through one of these dating sites and just say, okay, here, here's some, some basic criteria. I'm looking for uh, a, a, a guy who is financially successful enough to support my lifestyle. All right, again, so I hate to make it women specific, but you can't go back and forth. So I need a guy who, who makes X. Well, what percentage of guys make X? Anybody? What percentage of guys make enough that you are happy with what he's making? Five percent. Five percent. Oh, she was right. Women want money. Anybody else? Fifty to sixty percent. Okay. We'll split the difference. We'll call it thirty percent. Thirty percent of guys make enough money. Okay. What percentage of guys are intelligent and educated enough? As indicated by that little box of uh, how educated they are, or how they write their profile, or and what they do for a living. What percentage of guys are smart enough for you? 60%. 30, 40, 60, okay. We'll say 40%. Um, what percentage of people are attractive enough? 60%. So you're, you're, you're equal opportunity data. You're, but you're, we, we, need, we need the other people who are not speaking up to speak up because that's where the real truth lies. If you scroll through 100 guys, what percentage of them are dateable? Like, well, just look at that picture. Now we're talking 5%, 2%, 1%. Okay, 20, good. All right. What percentage of people that, when you meet them on a first date, do you click with? Because you need to click with someone, right? 1%. 1%, 2%, okay. So if we multiply again, and, and, and there's a whole uh, longer list of criteria that we could be looking for some, someone, right? You know, we could say, he needs to be over 5'10". I will not date anybody who's shorter than 5'10". It's your rule. Fine. Okay, but just just know that each thing you're layering on, you're eliminating X percent of the population. Right? It's fine. So if you multiply these numbers together, 40% of men times 20% of men times 2% of men times 30% of men times 1% of men, we get 0.001% of men are dateable by your standards. Okay, I didn't make this up. This is just what you told me. This is percentage of people that are dateable according to you. Can you see the problem with that, perhaps? Why it's so hard to find love is because we've determined that nobody is good enough by our own standards. And unless we loosen our standards a little bit, perhaps we're going to have a really hard time finding someone, especially if we're relying on those one or two magical moments a year when we have chemistry with someone at a bar. Right? So you meet someone twice a year, and apparently that, that person has to have all of those criteria Right? The 1 in 10,000 criteria, oh, and the 1 in 10,000 man has to like you just as much. You have to meet all his criteria too. So 1 in 10,000 times 1 in 10,000. 
This is why falling in love is a challenge. Um, and so we owe it to ourselves to do two things, to make, to make a real vigilant effort to date more, to get out there, to be more proactive, and to expand our search.